yeah, yeah. I already have a first sermon song. Yeah, so like they were like a rollout freestyles for my team. The first sermon took off in Ghana, it went crazy because we I think we dropped the snippet of the first sermon and it went crazy. So like and we put the song out and people were jamming to it. So like they were expecting, yo, it's the second sermon coming. I said, yo, for sure, bro. Yeah, so like I made that song like I knew it would go hard. So I was in the studio, like energy, everything, like everyone was involved. So just like the feeling that song they give you, same feeling was having in the studio. Because we made the song like like we, would, we knew it would go global. Yeah, we put out everything on that song. Yeah, and that song is like a message to, you know, I've been far away from home. Yeah, I've been outside. So it's more like a message to my people at home and like and to my, my cousin who died like two weeks before the second. The, the release. That's Sister Mariama. I mentioned the, her name in the song. So, silence for a minute. Rest in peace, Sister Mariama. Yeah. So, like, the song literally talks about, like, the life we live in Accra, you understand? Because more of Accra boys, more of the youth in Accra are run away, like, people that are far, far away from home, do you understand? Yeah, going wild and doing stuff that their mums don't know. Yeah, so that's what the song talks about. So, Kweku Pimpo, I'm Kweku Pimpo. They are semi by me. Kweku Pimpo will bring pro problem. Understand, it's a problem, child. That's it. Yeah. So, with Bernard jumping on the song, I, I got a call from Bernard's team. Yeah, I think Kimani. I'm very sure Kimani. He called me on video. And was like, Bernard, yo, Bernard loves your song. Charlie, your man, they jam the song out from studio. They go, they come say, yo, it's hard. So, like, the second time he called, Bernard was in the studio with him. So, Bernard took the phone with five minutes. And like, the, our first talk wasn't about the song. Your man was advising me, you understand? I was like, yo, it's crazy. So it was later that we talked about the song, jumping on it and everything. Yeah. And he was on tour when he recorded that song. Sent me the whole book. I said, Baba, I like this. Crazy. It's a black hole, a touchdown. <laughs> crazy. Happened like this. 